Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dani and today it's time to reorganize my bookshelf. I feel like I just did that not long ago because I reorganized it maybe twice since I moved to the new place, but I bought a lot of books. Well, I got, I was gifted a lot of books from my dad in December and I also got quite a few books and I need to put, <laughs> I need to find space for them in the bookshelf, which I don't have right now. So I'm going to reorganize everything film the process and just grab something nice to drink and enjoy. This is future me here, just to explain a few things before we get into the time lapse of the organization. Uh, this is already organized, so don't, don't look at it. I had to change my battery for the camera and I had to switch between the camera and my phone a few times during the time lapse because everything was running out of battery. So I'm sorry about that. The, the angle, the lighting might look different and that's why. But also right after the time lapse, I'm going to go into what I did on each shelf a little bit, like a mini bookshelf tour. So if you're interested in that, stay here with me until the end of this video. Since we're already swapping from phone and camera on the whole video that I'm going to do that again right now just to show you a little bit of how I organized it so on the top here I have the box boxes of the some of the books that I have a box at but the boxes are empty because the books are somewhere else and this shelf I'm going to go through it quickly is all of my red books so all of the books that I have already read or that are not exactly on my TBR. Some of them are just, I'm not intending to read. For example, Prince of Thorns is a book that I'm not, it's not on my TBR, but I have not read it yet. It's just like some books that I don't have an interest in reading right now. There are some other books here that are my husband's that he already read. Uh, so they are here and in the red shelf as well. But this is what we have for the red shelf. I tried for everything for both of the shelves. I tried to organize it by author name, so alphabetically, but it didn't work so well. So 
technically we have the beginning of the alphabet here, but it's not organized completely because I just can't, I couldn't, I don't have space for it. Uh, there will be a bookshelf that's going to cover this whole wall. So be on the lookout for that in the future because that's going to be really nice. But right now I had to just pile all the books because I don't have space to separate the red and the unread. There are some other cool things here. This is a miniature bookshelf, uh, not bookshelf, bookstore kind of library thing that I'm building. I'm going to show it to you when it's done, but it's really cute and tiny and I love it. There are some other pieces here. It's going to look really cute in the end. We have all of these tiny books. I'm just putting them all here while I don't put everything together yet because otherwise the cats would destroy everything. So these are all the books that I've read, some candles, and that's it. Okay, let's go into the middle shelf. This one is a little bit more thematic. I try to make it prettier than separating necessarily the books. So here on the top we have a series of unfortunate events, which I have read already, all of them. And I have some books from a book box in Brazil that they had this really pretty editions and a print of The Hobbit that I got in the ellipsis box that I have the video unboxing here in my channel. Then on this one, we have the Codex Serafinianus that I talked about on my book haul, the last book haul that I did. So check that one if you want to know what this book is about because it's really cool. Uh, we have the Pantone collection. It's not complete yet, but I have almost all of them. It's all classics in this also cute edition. And we have a doll from Fake Rate. I think, uh, we, and it's the doll from uh, Crown of Feathers. It is Veronica? No, the other one. Uh, Valkyra? Valkyr oh my God, I don't know how to say her name, but <laughs> that's her. And it's an adorable doll that I really love. Then we have my Full Metal Alchemist collection, which is awesome. And it's going to keep growing and it's not going to fit here anymore, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. I have here some Dungeons and Dragons books, some graphic novels, some other coll another collection that is a, a collection of fairy tales that from Brazil as well. I just bought they they always publish this on Kickstarter, and I just bought the fourth one. We're going to pick it up this when we can go to Brazil again, hopefully in the middle of the year. And we also have Greek myths here, which is a collection of well, not a, even a collection, just a nonfiction book about Greek myths. And then we have some Sherlock Holmes here. I have to put this one, which was on my January TBR back here. And Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, all of that stuff. And Harry Potter here on the bottom. And then when we go to the last shelf, this is not entirely unread. So here we have Way of Kings uh, Letter Bound Edition, which I have read, and some Lego sets. Another Codex Serafinianus. Uh, this one is my brother. I bought two of them because he wanted one as well. Well, he wanted one first and I got one because I thought it would look really nice and I wanted one. Then we have more <laughs> tiny stuff here that I'm building. This is going to look really nice. I have my TBR bowl. I just presented this new bowl in my February TBR. The video is coming up after this one probably. So do subscribe if you want to watch this. And now we start with all of the unread books. So this is all books on my TBR. have a lot of <laughs> alcohol uh, and some gems here that are always also going to be for a special new series of videos that I'm going to show to you in February. So again, another cool thing to look, look for here on my channel. Uh, more unread books. My tripod for the M&M's TBR more unread books. This is my TBR for January. If you want to see if I read them, look for my video on my February TBR. And we have another tripod here. And this one is actually uh, another that is not a TBR. So the TBR actually ends here with the TBR cart. Uh, but this one is not TBR. Some of them I haven't read yet and I want to, but I can kind of not considering them officially on my TBR. But yes, so this is not necessarily TBR. Some I've read, some I haven't, but I don't intend to. And we have the TBR card. This is where the board stays uh, during the month. And 
those are the books that I'm more excited for or that I'm more anticipating or prioritizing or something like that. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this organization and this a little bit of a bookshelf tour. I can do one more in depth in the future. And I also want to do a video with all of my TBR books, uh, talking about each of them. And yes, this is it. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.